Big Albert Hainsworth got an upgrade in the Power Up expansion yesterday. And today we're going to see how he plays with some abilities on him. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we've got gameplay on Albert Hainsworth. Let's go ahead and hop into the lineup and check him out. We're going to be rocking some abilities on him. We'll go over him, his stats, and everything we have on him ability-wise. So, yeah. The interesting thing is, is that I have Shaker on him. And I'll tell you why I want more acceleration on him, guys. So that's why we're going with Excel. Obviously, you get two Excel with the Max Team Team. You get two Excel with Shaker Max. I um, mean, he does get plus one speed, which really doesn't matter. He's he's he's, he's decent for his size, speed wise. Uh, but I did want to have a couple more accelerations on there, so that's why I went with that instead of brawler. Is it brawler? Yeah, instead of brawler. Uh, so that's why I went away from Brawler on him and another reason is because he already has stock 99 strength There's no need for me to boost his strength up any so why I have Brawler on him when I could have more Excel on him So that's what I went with here on this Albert Hainsworth. He's got 82, 82 speed 94 Excel 99 strength stock 99 tackling 99 play rec 99 block shed 97 power move and 72 Finesse move. He's six foot six at 350 pounds, so he should be clogging everything up there in the middle. Um, he's got 97 awareness. So, I mean, all around, it, it's a great run stopping defensive tackle. But I'm telling you guys right now, I'm probably going to be sticking with big boy Leroy uh, because Leroy Glover just plays so well. He has 99 uh, impact block there as well. Um, but Leroy Glover is just, he's, the, he's, great against anything against the run against the pass he's just phenomenal he's gonna be able to get to the quarterback against pass plays um you know he's great against the run um but this albert hainsworth is only he's only great at you know stopping the run uh so this might be the only video where i have him starting we'll have to see he might play well with the abilities i have on him um but you guys see defensively he's got 98 pursuit as well uh, all around a very, 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 very good run-stopping defensive tackle. Um, you know, a big frame at six foot six, 350 pounds. He's got decent speed for his size at 82. He's got 94 Excel, which is very good also. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to see how he plays with the Reach Elite, the Unpredictable, uh, the inside stuff. Hopefully, I remember earlier this year with his just, you know, stock 50 card. Earlier this year, he was... A, a monster against the run with inside stuff so hopefully that is the case now um well there's only one way to find out let's hop in, uh, let's go ahead and hop into a game let's see how he plays all right guys hopping into this one we're taking on golden ticket or rg3 I believe that was calvin johnson and julio jones um and there's our two golden tickets there ryan Tannehill, aj brown and i believe that was jason mccordy there if i'm not mistaken but let's go ahead and let's get it all right, guys, looks like he might be running the football. It, it all depends. You know, he's got RG3, so that does kind of scare me here as it is going to be a play action over the middle. He's going to try and look there, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Adore Jackson taking off. Adore Jackson juking. Oh, man, what a play to start the game. All right, guys, after a couple um, just not really good plays here, and after a delay game, we're stuck in a third and 14 situation. I'm not going to have, I'm not gonna have time to motion him over. Let's look for A.J. Brown. That's going to be caught. Sideline up to the 9-yard line. Great play. See if we can get Derrick Henry working early here. Let's go ISO to Derrick Henry. See if we can get some blocks here. So he gets absolutely murdered there. I'm not sure who that was. But you guys see two rushes for Derrick Henry. He's got negative yards. All right, we're going right back to the play that worked. Little out route with A.J. Brown. Smart route him. So a short corner look here. Um, and AJ Brown, oh, that's just ran out of room, ran out of real estate. I should have just, well, I mean, I was going to say I should have taken a delay a game, but I mean, that didn't really help my, I mean, it would have given us more room to maybe fit that in there. We just ran out of real estate. All right, guys, next play here. See if Big Al can get open, maybe. 
I'm gonna have to go ahead and try and um, you know probably go Mabel coverage. All right, first play we got to pick that was not the case this first play of this drive is Clowney is kind of getting to the backfield make a ta great tackle to Davion Clowney that was a humongous play by Jadavion Clowney's I can't get my adjustments down in time uh, did he fall forward for that Edron James gonna be close he did not let's just send everyone pinching the line he's gonna throw the football it was a man coverage there Dory Jackson couldn't jump the route there again at 15. That was a somewhat of a prediction type throw there. All right. Got my adjustments down here. Let's bring our safeties up a little bit. It's going to be another play action here. Let's send that man. He's not going to get there. There's no way. Julio Jones. Speaking of Julio Jones, something may or may not have happened by the time this video gets out to you guys, but, man, it will be nice if he can... Uh, he looked really good in that two-tone blue, so Sam Mills makes a nice tackle there. All right, big third down here. Hopefully Vanden Bosch can get out there in time. It's going to be a play action here. He's going to throw that there. Julio's going to be short. He fell backwards when he caught the football. He's going to no-huddle it. Look at Albert Hainsworth getting back there. Fumble! Who's there to scoop it up? It's Big Al. Block shed led to Clowney coming and fitting the hole. And Hainsworth recovers. Man, I love when the guys I feature in a video come and make plays. Big Al just blew that one up from the start. What a play. Brown and man coverage. Get out of the pocket. Tannehill, Tannehill. The escapability of Tannehill. Slide down. There we go. A great play to end the first quarter. That's what I'm talking about right there. I like that a lot. See what we can do here with A.J. Brown on a slant. Wow, Isaiah Simmons is a monster. He might take this one back unless Tannehill can make a tackle here. Man, what a play. That's, that's the type of plays that you'd like linebackers to make in this game. But, man, what a play. I'm just beating myself at this point. I mean, we've had opportunities to go ahead and score. Um, Curse, get out there and make a tackle. RG3 will not fumble the ball no matter what. That's a game of 17. I'm going to have to throw a spy out there for sure. All right. I got my adjustments down. He's going to toss to the outside. That's not a great play here. He's running the wrong way, and Hainsworth is able to put him on the ground there. Five rushes, Edron James there. He was doing well before that one. His loss of 10, second and 20. Just got to make sure I keep my spy out there. Watch out for RG3. I feel, I feel like this dude's just playing with me, man. He's toying with me um, for the most part. It's what I feel like he's doing. Um, but I'm just going to throw Van and Bosch in a spy here. Looking for anything underneath. Corner route. That's going to be intercepted. No, it's not. It's going to be incomplete. Just going to bring up third and 20 at the 30-yard line. Not sure. Okay. Kind of want to back up our uh, safeties here, but I'm not worried about underneath at this point. I want to try and use her everything over the top. No way that gets through. Look at Clowney. My God, what a play. Can we get this going? I uh, tried to juke with Clowney. Probably not the best move, but there's Clowney once again. Showing up and making a play in this one. Still scoreless. About... Quarter and a half through this one, so we're trying to get some points up on the board here this drive. I really don't know. Uh, we're both just playing absolutely terrible right now at this point. I went for it at my own 21-yard line. That's just a terrible, terrible way to play the football game. There's a gains two there with Edron James, second and eight at the 19. It's really um, who's the first one that doesn't make a mistake. Everyone's drive so far, so I'm stuck on curse here. There you go. Today beyond Clowney. Make the tackle. RG3 falls forward there for two yards. It's going to go no huddle once again. All right. Throw a spy out on Curse. The baseline here. That was a tight window picked off. It's Kevin Byard. Kevin Byard off to the races. Kevin Byard, the only guy that can catch him is RG3. Maybe whoever that is, 85. He's going to be able to tackle him. But what a play. Ball pops up in the air. The ball hawk himself. 
Kevin Byard is there to make a play on the ball, take it all the way back to the 36. So at the minimum, we should come away with three points this drive. Guys, I just have the biggest brain fart in the history of Madden, dude. I I don't know what I'm doing. I, it was fourth down, and I was I took a sack. And it was fourth down. I'm thinking it's third down here. I'm just trying to get a quick... It was four seconds left on the clock. If it was third down, that would have been the greatest play ever. But it wasn't. What had happened was, is I took a sack, and I didn't realize it was fourth down. I was still thinking it was third down. I threw a quick drag route. Got the timeout off with one second left, thinking it was fourth down, going to bring my field goal unit on and kick the uh, three points, and it was fourth down, and I turned the ball over. I mean, I don't know how in the world I don't get three points out of that drive. At this point, I'm thinking that this dude's defense is just phenomenal. It's not me making mistakes. It's just he's really good. As we, We're we playing defensively. It's been a great game for us. Holding... I'm not sure who the running back is, but only a yard for eight carries. That's that's really good. All right. Someone's got to get home here. RG3 is going to be an end around. Like, what, what is he running here? I feel like he's just playing with me at this point. And then the fourth quarter, he's just going to turn it on. Third and 14 here. Two minutes, 50 seconds left in the third quarter. I really do think this dude's just playing with me. He knows that I'm terrible at the game, so he's just going to have some fun. But, hey, I don't blame him. I'm just, I'm no good. I know it. Um, let's throw Hainsworth in a spy. Can he keep up with RG3? That's a question. And we're about to find out here. So he's going to go. Just someone make a tackle. Big hit. It's going to be fourth down, but he, Clown, he's got to make that tackle up there closer. We're going hard flats here. Probably not the best move. Oh, my God. Kevin Byard. That was the best move. Hard flats. Kevin Byard. Second interception of the game. We're going to do a little showboating. Why not? Shouldn't be showboating when I'm playing this bad. But, hey, when points are available, we are going to take advantage. I literally... Oh, he's out of there. He's out of there. I don't know if he was playing with me or not. But we'll take the win. All right, guys. That is going to do it for the gameplay. We saw Albert Hainsworth make a couple plays. Like I said before we play today, going over Albert Hainsworth earlier in this video, I said I'll probably keep Leroy Glover, and that's probably going to stay true. Um, you know, maybe I keep... You know what? I might... What I might do is leave inside stuff on Albert Hainsworth act activated, um, and then if I'm playing a guy that likes to run the ball a lot, um, I could just sub in Albert Hainsworth at D-Tackle and then maybe move Leroy Glover... Uh, where Vanden Bosch is or where Curse is. Um, who knows? Right right now, um, Albert Hainsworth will not see the field unless my opponent loves to run the ball a lot. Um, and then I'll sub him in. But for the meantime, I think we're going to stick with big boy Leroy. He just makes so many good plays. But in this game, I mean, Albert Hainsworth made you know, the fourth down stop, the key fourth down stop to keep us alive. Um, you know, the block shed and opened up for Clowney. Clowney came in, hit stick, fumble. And Big Albert Hainsworth was the uh, the guy who was able to recover the fumble. So, yeah, he made, you know, that was a pretty big play there. Um, you know, the inside stuff looked good on him. It's just going to be, is he going to be able to make a tackle once he block sheds? Um, and you could, you know, you, know, you, you, you can easily uh, negate that inside stuff by just, you know, double teaming. Um, so, again, Albert Hainsworth, he's great against the run. But, like I said earlier, I think I'm going to stick with Leroy Glover there at D-Tackle 1. But, hey. He helps out the overall. We now have a, you know, we are now capable of getting a 99 overall defense. You know, I talked about that yesterday in the Kenny Vaccaro gameplay. If you are wondering how to get your defense to a 99 overall with strictly, you know, Titans players only, check out the video from yesterday. I talk about it um, and I tell you where to move players around. But chemistry wise, I'm keeping my players where they're at uh, to get the most chemistries. And you know, the 99 looks pretty, but the ki more chemistry is the better in my opinion um unless we get an upgrade to like you know a new jayon brown or like a power of expansion to avery williamson um you know i'm gonna stick with that 90 to 98 overall rashawn evans there you know it is one overall away from 99 it does kind of bother me but hey it is what it is but like i said if you're wondering how to get that 99 overall defense for your titan team check out my video from yesterday i go in depth pretty much in depth 
uh, about where you want to move players around, what chemistry you want to use. Um, but yeah, Albert Hainsworth today, yeah, use Shaker on him. So um, if you want to use Shaker on him, I would recommend Shaker instead of Brawler because really when you're, you're using Brawler to get your strength up, and he's already at stock 99 strength, so you know why not use Shaker, get that extra excel on him um, if you plan on using him as your D-tackle one. But yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it. I am super excited to see who the golden tickets are going to be uh, on Friday. Those will be revealed tomorrow night. I'll have a video out tomorrow night. Uh, you know, a reveal video about who those will be unless we hear, you know, something, you know, maybe today about who those players will be. I don't know. Maybe they just completely surprise us and they reveal them all on uh, Thursday night. You know, they'll, they'll come on Friday. Uh, but yeah, Julio Jones, another big question there. IRL stuff. Julio Jones, where's he going to go? Hopefully he becomes a Tennessee Titan. I heard we have pretty high, you know, we have the best odds of landing him. I don't really look into that stuff, but I do because I just I know already. But um, I don't like to look at that stuff. I feel like you know if I get my hopes up and you know I don't want to get my hopes up for him to go completely elsewhere that no one you know kind of like JJ Watt. I was kind of hoping he'd come to the Tennessee Titans, but um, you know we were up there. We I think we had higher odds of landing him than the Cardinals. The Cardinals they weren't even on the list uh, of teams that could land. So really. Julio could go anywhere at this point, but really hope he lands in Tennessee. He'd look really good in that two-tone blue, and he'd help out the theme team as well. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.